Hello dear students this video is part 2 of working in advent 2 in our part 1 video we have already seen browsing files on your computer home folder files file manager changing view of files folder and sorting files of folders in this video we are going to see how to change system settings system settings is an application using which we can make changes in the appearance and current settings of the computer system now have a look how to change time and date to change time and date click on session indicator icon at the top right corner of the indicator area it displays a drop down list of options from that list select the system settings option to open the system settings application window then click on the time and date icon under the system category the time and date dialog box appears to set the time manually select the manually radio button you will observe that a time and date text boxes get active set the time and date as desired and click on the close button to set the time and date according to the location select the automatically from the internet radio button it will set your time and date automatically now let's see how to configure the mouse you can customize the mouse settings in various ways such as changing the function of your mouse buttons or altering the scroll speed of the mouse pointer to change the setting of your mouse click on the session indicator icon and select the system settings option from the displayed list the system setting application window opens select the mouse and touchpad icon under the hardware category the mouse and touchpad dialog box appears under the general section select either right or left radio button as the primary button by default left radio button is selected to change the double click speed of your mouse drag the slider towards left to make it slow and towards right to make it fast similarly you can change the speed of the pointer to check the recent changes made in mouse settings click on the test your settings tab present on the extreme right corner of the mouse and touchpad dialog box click on close button to close the dialog box remember touchpad option gets enabled only if you are working on a laptop now come on the third system setting suspend or sleep mode suspend is a power saving state wherein a computer does not turn off completely in this process monitor and hard disk are turned off but the computer puts a work and settings in ram and draws a small amount of power it allows a computer to quickly resume full power operation when you start working again follow this step to put your computer in suspend or sleep mode click on the session indicator icon select the suspend option from the displayed list your system turns in active and simply by pressing any key from the keyboard your system becomes active again now come to the font setting different styles of writing characters or text in a specific size is known as fonts as you have already known some of the popular fonts are absidrio linux libertine o typoscript verena etc font settings are used to change the display of the text on the screen as well as on the printed text to view the available fonts type font viewer in the search bar of the dash window click on the font viewer icon to display the list of the default fonts now have a look how to add new font download the font from the internet using the mozilla firefox web browser double click the font that you have downloaded recently the selected font appear in the font viewer window now click on the install button to add the font in the list of existing fonts now troubleshooting 
universal access and on board we will see in the part 3 of our video thank you for watching bye bye for now